Hi everyone and welcome back. It's that time of the month again when all the new releases, new stamps and dies, and I will be playing today with my favorite from the whole collection, this lovely bouquet. Now this one gives you a lovely bouquet that has the outline so you can color it in if you like with your favorite mediums, but it also gives you all the shapes to do your layer stamping. And uh, there is always a leaflet that gives you a few ideas on how you can put together a card. This video is part of a blog hop as we celebrate the latest release, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find the link down below, where you can join the blog hop, you can see lots of inspiration on how different designers used all the new products, and you can win lots of prizes, so make sure to check that out. There is also a matching die available, which I'm going to use today, as well as a stencil that uh, helps you color the whole bouquet in no time. I'm going to start by stamping my outline, but if you notice when you place the stamp down, the uh, bunch of uh, stems is moving, so I'm not always sure if I have placed that correctly. That's why I'm going to do the die cutting first. I'm securing the die with low tack tape and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. And I'm going to use both the negative and the positive from this die cut, so I'm going to place down the negative and then I can easily align the stamp inside that uh, space. This way I know that it's going to fall exactly where it should be. Then I'm going to grab the stamp with the door of my Misty and I can place the positive inside. First I'm stamping the outline with black ink. And then for each and every one of the flowers there are only two layers, which makes it super fun and quick. You see here I had to stamp that a couple of times to get a good impression and then I will move on to the flowers. For my bouquet I decided to go with a red, an orange and a yellow flower. For the red I started with crimson and then the second layer is with velvet. For the orange I went with snapdragon. And the second color is um, marigold. Now I don't always show that on my videos but I always prep my stamp before I stamp for the first time, especially when it is a solid one. I did that for all the solid parts of this stamp set and I usually work with an eraser or you can just uh, rub it with your finger. Now instead of having to fight with all the little uh, pieces for the leaves and uh, all the foliage that is there as well as the stems, I decided to go and color everything with my alcohol markers. The fun part about working with uh, the color system by Altenew is that you get the same colors on inks as well as on markers, so I can match everything perfectly. By the way, for the yellow flower I went with maple yellow and honey drizzle. Now I can always use the darker shade, I'm working with bamboo here and uh, parrot as the shading marker, but uh, since uh, the shading on the flowers isn't blended out perfectly, there are harsh lines on that shading, I want to follow the exact same design so that everything matches nicely. That's why I'm going to just apply the first layer of color with my marker which was bamboo and then I can use the little layering stamps that are supposed to add the shadow but instead of using my Misty I'm just using a small stamping block there I find that uh, more quick and if I don't uh, align something correctly which is the case with this shadow here I can always use the exact same marker which the ink that I'm using here is uh, Parrot I can use the Parrot marker and uh, color in the gap this is a really fun uh, thing when you have the exact same color in markers and inks so you can combine both if you notice there is a flower at the top that no other flower is overlapping that. One of my favorite things to do when I'm creating a card is to add dimension and I like the bouquet to look even fuller. That's why I'm stamping and uh, layering that flower one more time so that I can use my scissors and fuzzy cut it. This way I can later on pop it on top of my card. I'm cutting out the flower exactly where that black line is without leaving any border. And the trick to make it look as if you did a perfect job while fuzzy cutting is to go all around the edges with a black marker. I have foam tape at the back and then I can place it on top of my bouquet. If you want you can align it exactly on top of the other flower or you can offset it which is something that I'm going to do here. I'm just showing you how it's going to look. 
If you offset it, the flower is going to look fuller because you can see the other petals coming through in between the petals at the top. I think this makes a lovely focal point. Now let's work on the background. For that I'm going to use this embossing folder that has just been released. It is the linen texture. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and you can see the wonderful texture that I got. You can use both front and back and I actually used uh, vanilla cardstock here and that panel is slightly smaller than the standard card so you can see when I place it on top of my card base I end up having a little white border. I'm going to pop some foam squares at the back of my flower and then stick it on top of my card. You can embellish it a little bit more if you want to add an extra texture. I'm using a very thin ribbon here to tie a little bow. And you can always use your twine or even your thread. You can even create a little bow out of paper and stick it on top. A little bow is always fun, it makes your card look more special. And the way those stems are designed so close to each other make the perfect placement for a bow. Now for my sentiment I went with one phrase from the same stamp set that says of all the flowers I pick you. However, instead of stamping the whole thing, I just uh, white and post the top a row that says of all the flowers I pick and then I replaced you with another die that I had in my stash. Just because I like combining different fonts, I think they make the card more interesting. Finally, I'm adding some white nouveau drops on uh, the flowers and I'm going to call this card done. I can never have enough flower stamp set and I believe that this bouquet is beautiful and it is perfect for any occasion. Just like always you will find links to everything I used today down below in the description area. Don't forget that there is a, a giveaway since this is a part of a blog hop, make sure to visit my blog and enter. Thank you all so much for visiting today, I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired and I'll see you all next time.